Hi. Hello, everyone. Thanks for uh, getting ready with us. This is Painting Platinum, and I'm Sadie, and this is Justin. Hi, everyone. Valentine the Red, Sibstorm, Iggy Spellscale. Also, real quick, because uh, uh, they were talking about the giveaway. That was left over from the last stream. Mm. So that is uh, that is actually, that meant to be, that was supposed to be deleted, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but we don't have a new one yet, because you want to give them uh, a rundown about the giveaway? So we're giving away Poke Tools. Poke Tools. Do we have a little camera, Justin? Uh, yes. Let Ooh, me... somebody took the cork away. And they just stuck it into the terrain? Yeah, that's a... Okay, that's something I want to bring up. Um, so Simstorm... Um, let, me, let me reset it. Anne is leaving, and everybody knows it now, and it's wild. Um, I've been making most of the paint for a long time, but now I'm just trying to make all the weird things I don't make that often. Um, things that don't sell that well that are kind of just different consistency. And I'm trying to make sure that I ask all the questions I need to ask while she's um, still officially with us. Uh, hi, Reaper Harley. Um, so that even though she's going to still be working with us, I don't have to bother her while she's doing her own thing. Thank you, Scott Beal. Um, so, yeah, like she told me I could text her or whatever and she could answer questions. But I want to be sure that if um, if I need something, you know, we treat her like a consultant. Like she, I'm not just bothering her. So... So yeah, I'm the, the boss paint lady. Yeah, Josie RK. Anne is leaving to be with her boyfriend in San Francisco. Uh, they've been together for a while and, and they're ready to not do long distance, which is understandable. So she's still gonna be streaming for us. Oh, double audio. Somebody says there's double audio. Um, she's still gonna be streaming for us. She's still gonna be working for Reaper. Um, she just won't be on location. Uh, they must have two, uh, they have two tabs pulled open. Oh. And then, um, thanks time, Stitcher. Yeah, uh, Mist, make sure you don't have two tabs pulled open, just in case. <laughs> that, I that's think I want to this me. warmer. Uh, that's, that's color accurate, though. I've been washing my hands too much, and I'd like it warmer, because my hands are red. Um, uh, whatever. So... That's what's going on there. I'm pretty excited for her. It's starting to feel real. I'm okay with it because um, I probably shouldn't say this, but she got flowers on Valentine's Day and her boyfriend was like, I'm ready to see you every day. And I thought it was so sweet. I was like, I'll give up Anne for that. Like, and he, he moved to a different apartment for her dog. And like, get you a man that makes decisions based on your dog, I'd say. Because dogs come first. Yeah, so thank you. Thanks. Uh, oh, I hate being the boss, but um, but yeah, I, I do. I'm probably the most qualified to run the paint department and get everything um, together and, and keep it going. So, so yeah, um, but our people, uh, our people are really good. I don't have to really get on, on to everybody. They're, they're doing their own thing. Um, so yeah, uh, it's pretty cool and I get to mix. Um, we've got a new, I'm not allowed to post it on social media yet, but we've got a new labeler and it is so cool. Oh, it is pretty cool. It is so cool. I saw that for the first time yesterday and it was, I was like, what are you doing, Sadie? Yeah. People might see it. It might be like as late as ReaperCon when people see it and tour. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really neat. Um, so yeah, other than that, we're just, um, we're getting ready to release the, the Bone 6 paints, like for real, the rest of the, the rest of the HD paints, um, that we're going to release right now. And, um, yeah, so we've been really busy getting back into kit shop. Thank you, Reaper Harley. Um, yeah, I think she's going to have a lot of fun. I started following the San Francisco, I mean, it's not San Francisco, where is it? Mountain View? Is that what she said? I don't remember. I know California. That's it. Oh, paint mama. I like that, Lebrowski. Uh, so um, somebody called me the alchemist apprentice. And um, my boyfriend called me the alchemist apprentice. And I thought that was really cute. That's funny. That was my, I, I really clung on to that. So I guess if I get a, yeah, Mountain View. I guess if I get a uh, a title, I think it's the 
alchemist princess, a princess. Um, yeah, it is by San Fran. So I started following the San Francisco subreddit and it's just gorgeous. I mean, just gorgeous. Magnetic Gumby says, I heard Anna's moving to California to begin work on extracting the smell of street tacos to create a special cologne for Taco Bell. I, I love these. These are great. Odor they, of border sauce. They were, uh, they were encouraged to create outlandish possibilities for Anne. Rumors. Yeah, rumors, as it were. It's, it's fantastic. I love it. But uh, yeah, if Anne's happy, and uh, I think he said alchem alchemical princess, but yeah. Um, but yeah, if Anne's happy and Kiri's happy, I'm happy. I did realize, I was like, we're not going to see Kiri. Anne's going to come back and visit, but, uh, but Kiri's not. So, yeah. It's unfortunate. I was like, just get her an extra seat. Bring her on the plane. Give her a seat. Um, okay. So today we're going to start working on Ingrid the gnome. If you look at her, she's real tiny. This will be, um, oh yeah, we'll get this in focus. Sibstorm Anne would not have a hard time copying the Reaper paints, but, uh, but yeah, uh, oh, Pizza Dungeon West Coast, uh, hi, the Calisandra, um, but yeah, that's, that's what's going on there, so I'm excited for her, um, and, you know, it'll be a little scary, but I'm pretty sure I've got it handled, um, so yeah, uh, Ingrid, the female, female gnome. So let's take a look. So it's going to look like that. I almost did the, did y'all ever do that? It's embarrassing. Okay. That's the most millennial thing I think I've ever seen. You know what? So yeah, she's, uh, you can kind of see what she's got going. Um, so we're going to base coat her cloak with dragon red, uh, bend her sword arm to reach areas if you need to. Well, her sword arm is already bent. And unfortunately, I don't have anything like hot to, you know, I was kind of curious if we, uh, if you want to kind of experiment, I was kind of wondering if I could use my flat iron to like, I know that's a little hot. I'm going to try it. Uh, well, that's what this show is for everyone. Yeah. Um, so Sadie straightens minis with a flat iron. I think I know how to do it. I, I'm going to go ahead and say right now, I, I don't know that this is a good idea, but I'm also not going to stop it. No. No, there's no use in trying. There's there's no use in trying, correct. Um, so I know this special tech where I don't touch it. <laughs> Sip, so th this, is, this is going to go horribly bad. <laughs> it, um, so another thing I was looking at, oh yeah, PVC fuel is dangerous. That's true. Don't, I know don't burn it. it too much. I'm not going to burn it. Um, uh, there's one up here somewhere, Lebrowski. I'll find it eventually. That's my honey, James. He just says, uh, turn it on for a few seconds. You know, oh, I let it heat up. Okay, so I'm not even going to touch it. I'm just going to let it sit over it. Which, by the way, a little non-related tip. If you have really fine hair and you're doing your bangs, you don't have to close a flat iron on your, on your bangs. You can just do this, like, hover tech, and it just heats it up enough. I'm just going to tap it. I'm just going to give it a few little dudes. No, you're right, McKnight. That is, uh, this show is really more about just kind of letting, letting Sadie do her thing. Uh, Ooh, that did, that looks, yeah, that did do it. And, uh, she wants to use this, uh, flat iron. That's what she's going to do. Yeah. Yeah. I learned that from, um, Oh, what's his name? I'll remember his name in a minute, but it's a uh, Sam Via. Sam Via is a hairstylist, and he gets really good, really good tips. Jay had a good question. Why is there a flat iron on hand? Uh, cause I do my hair when um, I don't do my hair in the morning. I don't wear makeup, and I don't do my hair to come to work here. So I will take lunch before, and I'll get ready um, here. Uh, Reaper Harley was visiting today and she was like, oh, your, your hair's wild today. Perfect. Reaper doesn't say use flat irons in water to straighten your bone spoons. No electronics in water. 
yeah, I pretty up just for you guys. Um, yeah, heat gun, uh, panache. That's, that's a good idea. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, worked. It did start to get a little shiny though. I could tell it, it heated up a little more than it should have, but it still looks the same. It still has a good edge on it. Um, so yeah, they have these little mini flat irons every now and again, you can oh. find them on sale and I would keep those around. For some reason, Mubot did a complete like reset. It also reenacted, it reactivated the giveaway from last week. I don't know why I did all this. Sea spoons. Um, yeah. Let me get my brushes out if I have them in here. I think I do. I haven't looked at them. Oh yeah. So another thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running paint club. So I'm definitely not advanced enough that I can teach, but since paint club really isn't a class, um, the way I've explained it when, um, when I talked to Dave about it is that, um, I am a licensed cosmetology instructor and pretty much what you do with that is just facilitate learning you're not necessarily teaching but you're facilitating and I think I can do that in paint club and there's so many people helping each other I think it'll be really easy so we are going to 15 minutes in we are going to start our base coat dragon red on the cloak so I was reading on the Facebook and people were talking about uh, priming the minis and cleaning them. And I don't, oh yeah, Paint Club teaches Sadie. Um, exactly. I don't even wash these. I don't do anything with these. And what it was saying is that people that don't wash it, they'll have like, it'll have mold release on it. So over large areas, you'll be able to see why that doesn't work. So I'm actually interested in seeing uh, you're, off, you're off camera. Whoopsies. All right. So doing the cloak with a undiluted dragon red. And I probably need even less water. I probably need to wipe my brush off. Oh, yeah. Um, always clean them, I Iggy Spell Scale says. Yeah. Um, that is true. I just don't. Because this is somewhat unboxing. Yes, the hydrophobic spot. I'm going to try and shove it into, sh make it work. Shove it into action. <laughs> it, when, it, when it doesn't all apply, you know what you do? You just put more paint on, right? Yep. And you just apply a paint until it takes. This is my layer method, guys. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to mention, I mean, we've been working on it already, but we are working from the Learn to Paint Kit layer up. That's right future trouble that's right we're gonna learn together we're gonna learn from my mistake um but yeah i just did that because i mean i i should have prepped it but i pretty much just unboxed these i could have done it i could have made a video of cleaning them because i usually do it with like soap and water and an old toothbrush and really get all over it but, uh, but yeah. So I'm just continuing the base coat on this cloak. So let me see who sculpted this. Yeah. Does the, it tell us? The flat iron is the giveaway. Yep. Mm -hmm. We're uh, giving away city flat iron. No. uh it doesn't say who um, who sculpted these. Justin, can you do a look up real quick and see who sculpted Ingrid the gnome? Let's see. Ingrid female gnome. A did you say angry female gnome? Ingrid. Oh, that's less fun. I need to work on my my diction, I guess. My whatever. This would be Derek Schubert. Derek Schubert. 
Reaper branded flat irons. Um, I would love it if we came out with beauty products. I'd take our makeup line. Yeah, there we go. The patented Reaper self-heating sword straightener. Self-heating sword straightener. That is... Hmm. I'm really glad that worked because I didn't have anything else to do it with. And I wanted it done or else it'd bother people. People come in during a raid and they're like, uh, what is uh, with your sword? What's going on with that sword? It's embarrassing. I hate, when, I hate when people ask me that. What's wrong with your sword? Yeah, what's wrong with your sword? you got to beat the devil out of it. That's the problem. There's your problem. Snap accident outside my house, says Margaret. Uh -oh. What's that? What's a snap accident? Like Snapchat? I don't, I don't think so. That's also, also very millennial of you. I like Snapchat. I do too. A wavy sword is nothing to be ashamed of. Dragon heart. Oh, pickup truck truck into an oh an actual accident outside. Oh. Well, uh, Margaret, hopefully everyone is okay. Yeah. And if they are, are completely okay and it's just kind of a fender bender, um, go ahead and tell them to watch Reaper live. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah, could check us out on We're Twitch. We're watching something neat. Oh, yeah. So here I'm going to start having problems with the hydrophobic cloak. Sounds like something magic, though, doesn't it? The hydrophobic cloak. Harry Potter and the hydrophobic cloak. You know what? I'd buy that. <laughs> It's almost like uh, it's almost like candles when you go to blow them out, the magic ones. Mm -hmm. You blow them out and they come back. <laughs> it looks yeah. like you're chasing it them. It really out. is, yeah. Not on my watch, I say. So let's see. What's happened this week? If you use a liner, that will stick. Oh. That's what Holly Monster said. Look at that. Interesting. Holly, Holly Monster to the rec uh, rescue. Thank you, Holly Monster. Um... Quindy LaRue says, the way I discovered the hobby was because a beauty blog I was looking at. I can't understand what you're saying. Hand down, hand down. You're blocking your mic. Oh, sorry. It's, it's, it's um, muffling it a bit. The way I discovered the hobby was because a beauty blog I was looking at. The blogger took pics of the makeup she bought with her minis, and I love skeletons, so I googled looking for where to find tiny skeletons and stumbled upon the Reaper forum. Wow. And now we have Quindy forever. Quindy LaRue. Wait, is that how we all, did we get bug lips as a result too? Or did you meet bug lips through the Reaper form? Because if it was, then that is, that's kind of cool that's too. That's fate. I, yeah, I like that. That's, that is some fate. Okay, I see why we would have to move this one. <laughs> no, no, no. Hydrophobic paint, get the flat iron. Yeah. That, that fixes that too, I think. Oh no, this is, okay, good. Okay, so I want to bend this out of the way. Like, whoa. That's wild. Also, Valor of the Red said they actually have a hydrophobic cloak that's made of wool, and it beads up instead of soaking in. I've heard that hydrophobic stuff gives you cancer. But we won't think about that. This no, Reaper paint doesn't double as cosmetic paint. Really, I don't think it should... Uh, so... No, you shouldn't use it like liquid eyeliner. Really, I think even if something's non-toxic and safe for your skin, you should avoid contact with the skin as much as possible because you can develop contact dermatitis. San Antonio, that's right. Uh, in California, everything gives you cancer. That is true. It always has the warning. That, uh, what's, what's it called? It's like a, not section. What is it? It's the... Something or other. Yeah, the, the thing. You can paint your fingernails with Reaper paints. Uh, I do a, um, I do like a base coat and then paint it and then um, paint it with a top coat because it's, it's, what's it called? It's matte, right? Avoid brush licking. Uh, I would, yeah, I would prime your fingernails first. 
you never want to put anything directly on your fingernails because it'll turn it. Prop 65 warning. That's Thank you, is. Lady Dyer Doggo. Um, because it'll anything will yellow your your nails. Hey, John. We have John Overton in here. What's up? Hi, Planer Crossroads. Oh, do we have a tour? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, Reaper is my addiction. Oh, hi. And Raven Black Rose. Raven Black Rose. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Excellent. So, yeah. I love when we have tours. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Planet Crossroads? All right. So, I don't know. Oh, thank Doesn't you really very have much. A, oh. I've been given gifts. Presents. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. In the new studio, Valander the Red, we'll put people on cam. Um, oh, yes. But we're actually, yes. like, being professional and making people sign releases if they're going to be on camera. And, um, but yeah, and also, there's too much stuff in here. It's not the most pro. It will be, though. It's just that people, um, it's just that people bring stuff in here and don't take it. Like, hashtag not professionals. Hashtag not professionals. I try and take everything. Oh, Justin, we forgot the plant. <laughs> we still get it? it. It's hit or miss. It's, we still get know, it? Make a TikTok joke. Um, I don't know any TikTok jokes. Wait, you're not that millennial? That's not uh, millennial. That's is Gen it not? X. Is that, is that Gen X? Uh, Bloodwild wants to know when Boo Boo is going to sign the release. Uh, I mean, I have technically been on camera one time. Jason Boo Boo. Jason Boo Boo, yes. And that was the, the whatever episode that was, the blooper episode of Reaper Live, like months and months and months ago. Also, uh, I think you meant Gen Z, right? Not Gen X. Oh, yeah, yeah, Gen Z. Excuse me. Excuse me. One letter or another. I think I picked a Gen X color. I have a sparkly, swampy green coming out. I think I'm going to call it a grunge sparkle. Ooh, grunge. Grunge sparkle for my Gen Xers. Uh, they can hear you. Okay, I gotta go take care of the kid. Hey, uh, everyone, Col Collins is leaving. Go pick up our child. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna feed him. And then he's gonna take his ski trip. He's gonna take his what? Yeah, he's gonna go skiing. This guy's living the life. Wow, what? Can I can I come live with you and go skiing when I want to? Yeah, I'm not gonna stop you. Okay, All right, everyone, I'm moving in with Collins. I got space. The yard's big. The yard's big. I'm not living in the yard, Collins. You get a tent. That's fine. I'll live in a tent in Collins' yard. I'm sure everyone will appreciate that. Valander says grunge was when I was in the core. Yeah. It's a while back. You're right, Planer Crossroads. Yeah. Um, it's just not that flannel color. It's just a, a grungy green. If you're old enough to have sobbed when Kurt died, you might be Gen X. I'm old enough to have once believed that Kurt Cobain was murdered and to have now grown up and realized that Kurt was seriously depressed and mentally ill and that he probably did that himself. I hate to, I hate to take it there, but lots of people disagree. But um, unpopular opinion, I've always been a Courtney Love fan. This is something I've never said on the show before, but I am a fan of Courtney Love. I and did Hull. say in the live message you were going to get provocative. Well, see, I thought that was too much pressure, but here I am. Um, I'm a fan of Courtney Love. Um, one of those things, you know. It's not for everybody, but I don't know. I like her aesthetic. Oh, okay. And I liked that... Uh, I think it was the Celebrity Skin album. She, she has gone. Th okay, so she might be a disaster, but she's she kind of knows what's up. Um, have you seen those videos of her on the red carpet talking about Harvey Weinstein, like when she was in the People versus Larry Flynn a little while back? You know what I mean? Um, so. Chaos Emperor from 03. Were you born in 03? Wow. That's a good question, Scott Beal. Um, most of our bloopers seem to be live now. If we do anything like that, it might be through 
maybe through clips on Twitch. I guess if the question you're asking me, which I'm not sure, is will Collins and I host another blooper episode of some sort? I, I don't know, to be honest. Ryan's, I don't know what it is, but I, I do really feel Nirvana. Like when I listen to it, I really connect to it. But that's not for everybody. Um, you know what I mean? Hi, Chainer67. Um, but yeah, I've always really felt a connection. But I think a lot of the stuff Kurt Cobain had going, I got a lot of that in me myself. Not, not so much depression, but just like, I don't know. Different things. Ooh. Uh, Estarnik X said I saw Hole in concert in the 90s. She was an opening act, but can't remember for who. So I was about to ask who she opened for. Um, and she had this like longtime relationship slash friendship with Billy Corgan. I'm a big Billy Corgan fan. Big Billy Corgan fan. Your daughter doesn't like uh, Nirvana, T. McDuff. I mean, it's really not for everybody, but um, but I do remember being about 15 um, and being like, wow, this really speaks to me. Like, I really feel this in my whole heart. Um, and I didn't, you know, I didn't feel that way about a lot of iconic musicians. It's just one day it hits you. Uh, okay, uh, Beowulf, you want to hear a really provocative opinion that uh, Justin has about Foo Fighters? Oh, that they suck? He thinks that Foo Fighters are more butt rock than, uh, than Nickelback. Nickelback. I disagree. I've seen Foo Fighters, too. I like Foo Fighters, and I love Dave Grohl. I think that they are the equivalent of uh, elevator rock music. Every, Literally every song of theirs, to me, kind of sounds the same. The one thing I disagree with on um, a, about Courtney Love is that she fought to have the rights of the Nirvana music, and I think got them. I think she eventually ended up with the, with the rights to Nirvana's music, and I think that is kind of BS. Um, but, yeah. I mean, definitely unpopular opinion. I know lots of people that love, and there's no, there's no, I mean, love Foo Fighters. That's great. I probably shouldn't have brought it up, but I mean, we're getting provocative here. You're right. I mean, to me, they're the audio equivalent of uh, vanilla ice cream covered in soy beans. So I have this friend I've had, I had this friend since I was like in sixth grade. Um, and we stopped being friends for a while because he put on my MySpace wall. He said, someone getting the best, the best, the best, the best, and just did it over and over and over again <laughs> on my MySpace wall. And I was like, F this guy. Like, I'm done with him. And I, and I quit talking to him for like, I don't know, it was a long time. It was a really long time. It's embarrassing. See, I actually, but I will say to counter this, I love Nirvana. Um, mainly, and I will say I think that's because I grew up with it. Yeah. Uh, like, my dad is a huge Nirvana fan, and he's the first person that introduced me to it when I was like, I don't know, probably middle school. And I've just loved it since. But I don't regularly listen to it, but I do enjoy it. Um, and Kid Rock, by the way. Kid Rock is... An acquired taste, but I mean, I, at least for Kid Rock, I feel like he he fits kind of a niche for what he is, and it's unique, and I can pick them out, but the same reason I could probably pick out the Foo Fighters, but I will say that most of Kid Rock stuff sounds the same. I mean, it all basically sounds, the, it's all the same song. You could probably play each one back to back, and you wouldn't know where one began and the other ended. I can't remember whether, I really can't remember, because it was about the same time I can't remember whether I saw Kid Rock or Sammy Hagar as my first concert. It was either Sammy Hagar or it was Kid Rock with Hank Williams Jr. opening. And uh, I always thought it was funny because Kurt Cobain, his first concert was Sammy Hagar, but he lied and said it was some punk band. And I'm like, that, that's funny because I, I would like, um, I don't know. I would rather it be Sammy Hagar than Kid Rock, right? But I, I can't remember. I agree with that statement. I mean, I, like I said, I don't, I don't dislike Kid Rock, but you know, 
We're but going I also to see uh, Sammy in October. I think the honey's coming. No, it's a that's family cool. affair. Yeah. Wait, did you just corner your honey into going by asking him in front of everyone, or no? Oh, okay. No, I was like, uh, the fam's going to see Sammy Hagar. Are you going to come? And he was like, sure. You should. I think everyone should see Sammy Hagar at least once. Gosh, he is amazing. He really is. I'm sure I've said this before. My favorite thing about Sammy Hagar, I follow him on Instagram, and he posts pictures of himself in foils, getting blonde highlights. It's hot. <laughs> I like a man that can that can rock his uh, routine, his beauty regimen. Ugh, okay, I messed up a little bit. I think it'd be My cool. first was Ozzy. Blood Wild, that's great. I think it'd be cool to see Ozzy live. It's just too bad, obviously, you'll never do that again. Since I think he will. He's getting treatment right now. Is he? Is he um, capable physically of doing it? I saw him, I think I saw him last October. No, 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 I didn't. It was a year ago, last October. Um, and it was great. And you know what they did? Um, David Lee Roth is opening for Kiss this year, if anyone still cares. Okay, so I don't like David <laughs> Lee Roth as much, cares. but I like his music better. It hurts me. I like Sammy better as a person. I like David Lee Roth's music a little better. Um, and I wouldn't mind seeing Kiss. You know what? To be real inclusive here, Chaos Emperor has no idea what we're talking about. Chaos Emperor, who do you enjoy? Who is yeah. who's your favorite band from when you were young? Let's put it that way. Let's, let's see if... Uh, they're still young if they were born in 2003. Well, I mean, you're right. They are. They're in their... They're, they're 17. They're in their time. They're 17. You're in your time now. But I'm talking like oh, six years ago. Aetherworks Nick. My first concert was U2. Wow. I have a friend of a friend. We ran into her at um, at Smashing Pumpkins. She just saw U2. Now, I saw her a few months ago, but she had just seen U2 for the 103rd time. Like... Um, Bono knows her and she had this uh, teddy bear that looked like Bono and she took it with her like I don't know like to pose with him or something like hey look at this Bono bear and he took it he thought it was a gift oh he took her Bono bear oh Lincoln Park I love Lincoln Park too that was I think that was in middle school in Lincoln Park I might have been in elementary school when Lincoln Park came out and it was new like different uh, Metallica, Pink Floyd, Weird Al. I think the bosses really like Weird Al. At least Dave does. My my uncle liked the hell out of it. I've actually been to two separate Weird Al concerts. The like, Bee Gees, Bob Dylan. I'd like to see I'd like to see Tool or not again, but Tool and at all. I've never seen them live. Um, I've never seen Marilyn Manson live. I think MM Marilyn Manson. Um, but I listen to his music way more than Nine Inch Nails now, but I've seen Nine Inch, Nail live, Nine Inch Nails live a dozen times and been backstage and on stage with them. I love Nine Inch Nails. So I'm sure you've read the Marilyn Manson book where he talks about um, Trent Reznor owned the uh, Sharon Tate house, I believe, and had a recording studio in there and had some like creepy stuff pop up and whatever. But um, but yeah, I think um, there's there's also this weird history with like Courtney Love and uh, Trent Reznor. There's this weird crossover between all my favorites and Courtney Love. It's like six degrees of Courtney Love. <laughs> Did we ever find out? Let's see. Um, Aetherworks Nick saw Weird Al when he was in Sydney a while ago. He's great live. Uh, Is he still touring? Apparently. I mean... I know there's there's good money in it as an artist, but I mean I didn't know that because talk about he's getting kind of not he's not old, but if if you saw him young because I saw him when he was younger and seeing him now he's like he he doesn't look to have aged very well. He's definitely starting to to show some some wear and tear. Never seen Kiss. I've gotten to the point where public events freak me out enough that unless it's somebody that I can't do without seeing, I won't go see concerts. So I'll go see, like, I'll go see Ozzy or I'll go see somebody I would regret not going to see. And the Smashing Pumpkins pretty recently crossed over into that realm because my mom offers. Okay, so my mom, my stepdad go to concerts all the time. So most of the concerts I go to are like 
they won't end up going and she'll be like, hey, do you want to go see this concert? And the first time they offered me Smashing Pumpkins tickets, I didn't go. I just went this last time because I was like, you know what? I do want to see Billy Corgan real bad. Um, and Noel Gallagher was there, the guy from Oasis. Oh. It was a little bit avant-garde for me. I was like, oh, these people are cooler than me. Like, they had this lady opening and closing scissors up there next to a microphone. And I was like, okay, girl, like, this is, so this is different. Unpopular opinion. Uh, you like scissors? If, if I, no, if I ever hear, if I hear Bittersweet Symphony one more time, um, I'm going to just, I don't know. I'm going to go on a rampage. I don't think that was Oasis. Bittersweet Symphony? Symphony? I think that was the Verve. Give it a goog. We okay. can both be wrong. Please, can we not? Can we not call it a goog? God, can we give this a, a search? Could you use a search engine to verify the validity of what I said? The Verve. Yes, I'm good at this game. Uh, Oasis also did Bittersweet Symphony. When? It's right here on YouTube. In fact, I'll go in and play it out loud so everyone can hear it. I thought we can't play music. As of you can't actually. I'm not gonna play it because then they'll mute the vod. But uh, yes, they they definitely they definitely covered it. Beowulf saying ska was not good, or a specific band because ska is the best. I love ska, particularly even though this is probably like a pop ska. I really like the Mighty Mighty Boss tones. Oops, really like them. And I like early, no doubt. Oh, Limp Biscuit. Oh, Beowulf doesn't like Ska. Oh. My heart. Guys, you gotta like Ska. Ska's good for your heart. It's just, it's just pure happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Already lining. Um, it says you might find it easier to paint her ears after you paint her hair. I don't even see her ears. I must need reading glasses. Oh, I see her ears. They're just not shaped like, yeah, yeah. I remember reading in a magazine that Gwen Stefani bleached her hair every two weeks, and I, I was thinking, I've got to bleach my hair every two weeks. Oh, the cranberries. Sometimes, like, I don't know if you guys do this, you just get in the car, and you just start singing something, and it's just random. A lot of it, for me, is the cranberries. I'll just, like, sit in my car and start singing the cranberries. Dropkick Murphys, that's great. Oh, yeah. Gwen Stefani looks gorgeous. Is everybody okay? I don't know. Are they yelling John or Ron? Probably Ron. Um, but it does, yeah, it does look like Oasis. Uh, they did a cover of it. Yeah, but And that's, that's the one I've actually heard on the radio. No, it's not. I swear. 103.7. Go listen to it. You'll hear it. They, they play the cover of it. Noel Gallagher right there. Bam. A bittersweet symphony? Yes. Not the one from from uh, Cruel Intentions? They might play both. I don't know. Did, I you, just, did I you ever see heard, Cruel I've Intentions? I've heard the cover. Did I ever see Cruel Intentions? That's the one with... Uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar and Ryan Felipe and Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon is and, the one uh, I remember. I don't and remember. Selma Blair. Yeah, I just remember Reese Witherspoon. Oh, yeah, Valander the Red. Dolores or that was a That was a tough one. I really liked her. Hi, Internet Jojen. We're talking about music. And um, what else are we talking about? Movies now, I guess, with Cruel Intentions. Yeah, being. Cruel Intentions. Wait, is Cruel Intentions the movie where that, that, that poor cat gets nailed to the door? Ew, I don't think so. I think that's... Um, that sounds like a... Um, that sounds like something else. That sounds like that one... Um, hey, I like Reese Witherspoon. She's really pretty. 
Oh, did you say you didn't like somebody? No, I, I, Valandar said I have no taste in women. Because I guess he doesn't like uh, Reese Witherspoon, I assume. Really? I think Reese Witherspoon's beautiful. Her daughter's just like a mini, like a little mini her. Okay. I've mm. never been a Sarah Michelle Gellar or Sarah Michelle Gellar fan. Really? Yeah, didn't like Buffy. I think didn't she's like, gorgeous. Uh, her and Freddie Prince Jr. are still together. I mean. <laughs> I, I mean. I mean. That's cool. My heart. It's also an outlier for people in Hollywood. Like I said, I watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer religiously until Seth Green left. I was pissed at Willow for cheating on him. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Not only that, I love her little face shape. Not that it matters. Oh, because you didn't remember. Do you like Selma Blair? I like Selma Blair a whole lot. And then Selma Blair and Reese Witherspoon acted together again in Legally Blonde. Uh, Reese Witherspoon, you know, obviously was Elle Woods. And uh, Selma Blair was, what was her name? Selma Vivian? Blair? Vivian? I think her name was Vivian. In, in what? Legally Blonde. Oh, I don't remember. That classic film. Names. I don't remember. Classic, yeah. Bend and snap. Yeah, bend and snap. That's right. I wonder who came up with the bend and snap. What writer came up with the bend and snap? You know what I liked about Legally Blonde is that she cracked the case because that lady said she took a shower and washed her hair after she had a perm. And you can't wash your hair for like 24 hours after you have a perm. Do you remember that part? It was like, it was like the, um, it was like the uh, few good men moment of Legally Blonde is she's on the stand talking about washing her hair after the perm. The a few good men moment. Yeah, it was like the uh, you can't handle the truth no, of no. Legally Blonde. Yeah. Isn't Loved that, is it. That, is that, uh, that's Jack Nicholson, right? Or is it? Uh, yeah, Tom Cruise was yeah, yeah. examining Jack Nicholson. And uh, He's, yes, he yells, you, you can't handle the truth. Yeah. Well, Tom Cruise doesn't. Jack Nicholson does. That was good. What if Elle shows Paula a move so she can get the UPS guy? McCullough asks Smith, who then drunkenly began demonstrating a move that completely became the bend and snap. It was a spontaneous invention. It was a completely drunken moment in the bar, said Smith. Oh, this is real? Despite the story of bend and snap's origin, director Robert Lukatek gets the credit for making it in the film's big, silly musical lump number. Smith and McCullough told Entertainment Weekly. Oh, uh, wow. Oh, Empire Records was great. I don't know if it holds up. I haven't seen it in a really long time. It seems like the kind of thing that I really would have loved, and later I watch it again, and I'm like, whoa, everybody, chill out. Because uh, I know that girl uh, shaves her head. and Sort of like, um. okay, so I love Dead Poets Society. Don't get me wrong, but I rewatched it recently, and I was like, can everybody calm down? Do you know what I mean? Do you like Dead Poet Society, Justin? Yes, I love that movie. Everybody needed to calm down, though, right? Uh, I mean, it was, from the very beginning, very... Melodramatic? It was very into itself, yeah. Um, that's, that's the one with, just to clarify here, that's the guy, and I don't remember the actor's name. It's the guy from the show House, because he's the one who actually, I believe, spoiler alert... As a child? Well, a child? Yeah. I mean, how old are they supposed well, to be? Well, like teenager. Teenagers, right? Teenager. Yeah. Yeah, he's the guy that I believe in the end, uh, spoiler alert, you know, Does it. hangs himself. Yeah. Oof. And, uh, but the actual, Ooh. the teacher is, is that Robin Williams? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. We actually, it's not Hugh Laurie. No, no, no. It's the, the other doctor. Um, the Wilson, I think it's, was it Wilson? The one I'm that's, not in the, house. the one that's trying to, to, to talk sense into him. Ooh, I don't know. I don't remember the actor's name. Uh, the craft is great. I love Perugia Balk. She's great. Um, <gasps> Planar Crossroads. What are you talking about fashion wise? Now I know I'm old because I feel like that is held up. I'm stuck in something. Thank you for the sub, 
uh, Big J Customs. Oh yeah, so I didn't talk about the Poke Tool, but um, this is the Poke Tool. This is our giveaway. For every five subs we get, we're gonna give this away. Um, we're out of corks. I don't know if we've addressed this, but I heard the conversation about it. Um, we're out of corks. Uh, so also, we're one sub away from uh, from starting the giveaway. One sub away. So um, we're doing. I think we're doing foam in a blister. And the thing is, they're not going to be acid dipped. They're going to be uh, just cast. So you can paint them whatever color you want. What? Ferruja Balk was also in a sequel to Wizard of Oz, the one with those living bicycle people and the gnome and the queen who murdered girls to steal their faces. What? Sounds I got, like, uh, my, I got uh, something to look into. Oh, thank you for the get to sub, Planer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on the... Planer Crossroads, thank you. Uh... You make clothing. That's awesome. I'm I'm actually wanting to get into making clothing. I just started using a sewing machine not too, too long ago. I don't use it too, too much. Um, and I watch Project Runway, but I get really mm, frustrated when I see people on Project, uh, Project Runway have trouble with sewing machines. It makes me feel like I'm never going to get good at it because if these people are having trouble with sewing machines. And I mean, it shouldn't bother me. I work on Audrey. Oh, Planar Crossroads, you're the best. Um, also, the hashtag free is now open. Hashtag so. free. I don't know if my taste is there. This is what they always say on Project Runway. I'm just not sure that his taste is quite there or her taste, her taste level. I don't think that I would make things that people would like. I'm kind of stuck in the 90s, but... Permanently. Yeah. Yeah. In every In every sense. But whatever. Different strokes for different folks. Okay, I'm getting this skin going. What time is it? Justin has to be done by 410 today. All right, so we got 19 minutes. 19 minutes. I don't think I can make clothes without heavy guidance from Tim Gunn. Okay, so been watching Hoarders and also watch Project Runway and I had the best crossover happen and I didn't even catch it. Okay, so like I do things while I watch this and my boyfriend's always like, oh, did you catch that? And has to like pause it and go back. There was this lady with like a half a million dollars worth of Barbies um, and she had a Tim Gunn Barbie. It was like a Tim Gunn series Barbie. There were like three of them. And James was like, hold on, was that Tim Gunn? And we like went back and it was, it was a Tim Gunn Barbie. Wow. This lady had a lot of good Barbies, which is obviously why she, why she had like half a million dollars. And it was like a clean hoard. It was just full. It wasn't dirty. They were all in boxes. Um, Planar Crossroads, email me at Sadie at ReaperMini.com. Um, Tim Gunn has been in Marvel Comics? What? Uh, also, Valander said, I don't think I can make clothes without somebody telling me what to design. Someone doing the sewing and someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just don't know how to do a whole lot of stuff. But I, I think I could. Like, I see things I like. And I'm good at, like, working with my hands. I feel like I could. Uh, yeah, he said he guest starred in an issue of Iron Man where he ends up wearing an Iron Man suit. My favorite is when there's a guy talking about Tim Gunn and about how he's like up here, up here, or up here when he's talking about stuff. I know you hate that because it's in front of my mic, but it's true. Actually, that's cool. that, that wasn't that bad. Kind of tell where Tim Gunn is depending on where he's. Grin, no cookies. My mom made a lot of my clothes as a kid. See, I don't, don't want to be that mom. My great grandmother made all of her clothes, and she would, I think she sewed in like designer labels. And um, my aunt told her friends at a bridge game, and she was really mad at her. Now, I just told the whole internet. She's passed, but, uh, but yeah, she probably wouldn't like that. 
I saw you said that, Planar Crossroads. If I stopped the gifted subs, I could make Reaper orders. Um, yeah. Hopefully pretty soon we'll get caught up and we can start doing samples again. Because I have great samples to put out. Um, but we have to catch up first. And like, just orders keep coming. We keep moving through paint like crazy. We have an inventory process where we go out and like, kind of, um, kind of uh, pull things that are that are short, you know, that have less than a hundred or whatever. So we keep getting more and more. And I've gotten to where I've got two new ladies, and I'll just send them out to do it, and they just like attack the attack the restock and bring it back. It's kind of nice. Uh, yes, Jojen, actually, I did. I finished uh, Altered Carbon. Uh, season two. It was, it finished a lot better than it started. I will say that. Grindel Cookie says it's because everyone's discovering how awesome Reaper Paint is. And then Walt Bledsaw said, my son uh, played World of Warcraft with Ozzy. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know. It seems like things are going pretty well. People want our stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy how much we've grown. I mean, I can't believe it. I've been um, I've been working on these pirate colors, and they ended up just being tropical colors. So I don't think I'm gonna end up making the ones I thought of. Uh, I'm gonna have to like sit down with Ron and see what Ron thinks. Um, but yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I just kept thinking of all the pretty sea creatures I wanted to to make, and then I realized, oh, it's not. It's not um. Pirate themed as much as ocean themed. Um. Let's see. Gray to Table Studio says, "How much of a paint do you make in a batch, and how many different paints can you batch at the same time?" I make two to three gallons, depending on what it is and how well it sells. So, for example, if something, um, if something doesn't sell as fast, well, we're starting to make two gallons of it, um, but usually three gallons. New stuff, I'll make two batches of, of three gallons, so we have some for kit shop and for uh, restock. See, I've got, I didn't think of cannons, um, but I got Barnacle, rum, and doubloons, Valander. So we'll, we'll kind of see. Um, the thing you always think of is black, and we have so many blacks. So um, I, might, I might experiment with a new black, but it would have to be something different. Um, and it wouldn't necessarily be something useful. That's the thing is I can think up a lot of stuff, but it won't necessarily be something that everybody wants to use. Um, but I was thinking a white and a black would be nice. Yeah, a very, very dark metallic color would be good. Um, I've got a kelp. I've got like a golden kelp. I've got a seaweed color. Um, I've got something really, really cool that I have to experiment with that we've never made before um, that I'm not going to talk about yet, except that I just did, but it's very, very cool. Um, yeah, so uh, somebody else, somebody asked how much the streams are painting are affecting paint sales. We are selling a lot of Josh's Miniature Monday paints, so I'm going to call, I'm going to, I'm going to call this a, a success. Um, things move up in the, so like I'll pull bins that are short and things will move up in the bins, in the stacks pretty fast. So, um, but to answer the question, we don't actually have a way, I say we don't have a way. We do not currently actively and accurately track what the seams, the streams, not seams, the streams influence as far as sales. We, we are trying, we're working on the back end to, with kit to kind of come up with some, some ways to track that. Like, uh, affiliate codes and things like yeah. that for our sh other streamers and things for us to kind of track 
you know, hey, uh, I watch this show and I'm buying it for this reason. Now, I will say if anyone watching decides, and this would help, if anyone watching decides, hey, I'm going to buy this for this reason, if you want to tell us that in the notes, that would actually be greatly appreciated. Yeah. So if you see Sadie painting this here gnome and you like this gnome and that's why you buy it, telling us in the notes would be infinitely helpful. Just saying. Um, yeah, I thought about scurvy and yeah, it's raw sores. I thought scurvy was yellow skin. Um, somebody wanted drown nipple pink. I'm doing that for ReaperCon. There might be some giveaways close to ReaperCon or during ReaperCon. I don't know how much we're going to make. Um, yeah, that's coming. Um, we toyed with the idea of not doing drown nipple pink for ReaperCon, but I think people expect it. Uh, I think so. so too. Thank you, uh, M. Gronick, for that. Uh, yes, for thank notes. you. That's imp that's that's very helpful. Barnacles are actually really, really ugly, um, but I made a color based on barnacles that was pretty. Also, Planner has a good idea as well. Um, if you're in the Discord and you bought it and you want to say it there, that would be helpful too. Yes. Um. But yeah, I think it's helping. And for example, our Christmas, our Christmas kits, sets, paint sets, holiday paint sets, were a um, were a great success, much more than they were before. Yes, uh, yellow skin is is jaundice. I thought jaundice was a symptom of scurvy. It's not. Yeah, you should put that in, Jojen, one hundred percent. Um. But I, yeah, I will not stop you. Uh, I'm not, I, I won't hate on barnacles. I'm not trying to barnacle shame. I like barnacles, but man, it's, they're hard to look at. Yeah. I think I've got that. What's that disorder where you can't look at things that are porous like that? Oh, that's a uh, oh, trip, that, trip to tryptophobia. Ooh, trip to it bothers me so bad. So bad. Oh no. Tazalanche. Well, I won't even say that. I, I would never do that. We got That's, a new. I, I hate to say it, guys, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go on record here. I could sooner drown Sadie than I could a dog. And I appreciate that. We got a new dog here, a uh, Taylor's dog. It's not here, but Taylor from Internet got a new pup. Wandered up to either her or her boyfriend. I can't remember. Um, and she is. A cutie. I think she's part lab and she's just all honey. She is so cute. It makes me want a dog so bad. <laughs> Sibling. That escalated quickly. Uh, parrot colors. Yes. So I, I really like a parrot red, but our reds, like we already have a good amount of reds for parrots. And then I made a gold, but Ron really likes blue that's on a parrot. So I think we'll go with what Ron likes because we like Ron, right? Um, oh no, buy this color or we'll drown Sadie. Um, <laughs> um, Let's just well, then you'll this. buy the color and nobody will be able to make it except Ed. And then it'll be buy this color or we'll drown Ed? Yeah, and then nobody will know how to make it. We won't be able to let Anne leave. But yeah, um, maroon. But yeah, that's that's what we've got so far. But like, you know, I don't know if we'll ever make another nipple color. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Norwegian blue for a parrot color. Another idea somebody had is um, Aegean Sea. It's like a really nice Blue. Oh, Ground Zero 86. Um, Anne's leaving to be with her boyfriend near San Francisco. She's still going to be streaming for us. She's still going to be coming to ReaperCon um, and helping when she's needed with paint, new paint lines, that sort of thing. Um, what are you smiling at? Oh, it's Kevin. He's trying not to make noise. Kevin, Kevin loves cameras, by the way, guys. Um, so yes, Anne is leaving, um, barely though. She's still going to be a part of everything. 
Pacific blue, Indian green, and Atlantic gray. I like those. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, we talked about making a and going away color. It would probably be a happy yellow. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ground Zero. She likes him a lot. And he likes her a lot. It's very sweet. I like to say it's like uh, he's been planning how to be a wonderful boyfriend uh, for a really long time. Um, yeah, Glenn H., he has a good job. So uh, I think they're going to do okay. Um, let's see. Tazalanche Curie Yeller. That's cute. Mountain View Yellow. Oh, I'll have to tell her that. Monahost, that's great. Anne loves a happy yellow. I also love a happy yellow. Uh, we talk about how yellow is pretty polarizing. Like you either love or hate yellow. And I really love yellow. Shade of magenta besides the clear bright. That, that would be nice. Well, I'll have to look at that. Um, we've got a, mm, yeah, we've got a pink coming out, but it's not magenta. Oh, yeah. Mountain Dew yellow. Maybe. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what's going on there. Um, line of nipple colors, oops, all boobies. Man, y'all love those nipple colors. Um, sibling says, I guess I'm weird. I don't love or hate it. Island sand. I've got a sand color. Um, oh, good luck, Anne. That would be cute. Uh, Dabber Raccoon, yes. Uh, he's He needs us to be rating by 410. You know, I was just thinking. Of uh, giving us more time? No, no, not, no. not that. Uh Future troubles like good luck and I was like imagine like punctuation there. So if you put good luck comma and it sounds sweet, but if you just say good luck and it almost <laughs> sounds like you're being you know disingenuous about whether or not she has luck in California. Or she's like a uh, a good luck charm. Good luck and exactly there yeah. you go. See punctuation is important. Where did hot honey lips come from? Oh hot honey lips. But yeah, I, I don't know. We're going to make it. We're going to pull together and we're going to make it. Um, let's eat grandma. Yeah, there you go. Let's eat grandma. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm pretty excited. Um, Ed was acting like he doesn't know who's going to get her office. And I like cornered him. And I was like, who wants who, my office? Uh, who, who else? Uh, That's my office. And he's like, yeah, uh, at your office. But you never know with Ed. He might be telling a couple of people that's their office. Yeah, you're right, Silverthorn. Because the alternative to that is an uh, intro to an interesting conversation. Like yeah, that, like I was going to say, don't say that, Justin. Oh, I'll, I'll repeat it. Do you not want to? No, no, that's not TOS at all, actually. Yeah, it is. It's really not. What you say, actually, is uh, it's very, very liberal within Twitch. Like, and did say care. it's my office. She told me, she just said, put your foot down. I said, oh, I'll camp out in here. I'll just start painting. I think I'm going to have a... Uh, a painting. Start painting. I think I'm going to have um, maggot green walls. Maggot white, rather. But yeah, that's that's what's going on. Um, pretty excited. A little sad. But it's hard to be sad for somebody who's excited. You know what I mean? Um, mash. I don't know... What are we talking about, MASH? What are we saying about MASH? You have seen MASH, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't... You were saying that kind of like you didn't know what that was? No, I know, but I thought maybe it was... A, uh, you remember MASH the game? Actually, I don't know this. What is this? Oh, what was it called? Mansion something. Oh, it was an acronym? Shack House. Yeah, and it's this game where you, like, girls... I mean, I don't know if it's just girls, but people play it, and uh, you write, like three of your crushes names are you gonna live in a shack a mansion or a oh uh, that seems like a very innocent version of mary uh f kill yeah it's mary f kill 
but it's like a fortune telling for, game. For, for more polite. Can we do it real quick? Uh, Can we play mash real quick? Can we get me a piece of paper? Sure. All right, we'll bust this out. I need a pen. Do we need paper for this? Yeah. Here, catch. Oh, I got a piece of paper. I need a pen now. Okay, so um, little camera. Let's see if I remember how to play this. Mansion apartment shack house. It's a fortune telling game. So Mary F. Kill. So Justin. Um, what? You've got uh, McKaylee. Uh -huh. um, who else? Uh, celebrities, I'm thinking. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm about to put Reese Witherspoon if you don't give me your real names. That's fine. I like that one. That works. Uh, Emily Blunt. Okay, Emily Blunt. She's my personal favorite, if we're going to be honest. Well, McKaylee, then Emily Blunt. Uh, yeah, no, that's, right. that's the correct order. Um, okay, so are you going to live in, let's see, it's like home, apartment. What's your, like, top favorite house? Would you want to be, like, uh, on stilts? Or like <laughs> on stilts is you where know you those go houses first. on stilts. No, those I know. Underground I, just, hill houses. I just love that that's where you went first. Geodome. I don't know. Probably uh, uh, seaside. Seaside. With a, like on the edge of a cliff or something. Cliff. I think that's that would be probably optimal. I don't, I don't know. Um. What else? What else? Treehouse. What about treehouse? Sure, we'll go with okay. a treehouse. That tree sounds great. Treehouse. Um. Uh, three cars that you like oh. or don't like. How about a, like, um, uh, yeah, you're right. Freestyle. What's Clear. the back to the future? How a uh, car, L a DeLorean, a DeLorean. Correct. Um, I don't know if I spelled that right. Um, what else? Do you like Camaros? No, I like the Challenger instead. It's actually what I drive. Challenger. What else? And then a, a, Toy Yaris. a Toyota Yaris. Thank you, okay. Valentine. Got a Yaris. Perfect. Children. What would be like the worst amount of children to have, um, in your opinion? It's several. Okay. Do I have to give you a specific number? We'll say four, zero, or two. Um, what else goes in MASH? I have no idea. Um, I, I, I've never played this game. Let's see. Panache says driving a Challenger seems risky. <gasps> no, I just got that. No. Oh, am I missing something here? The Challenger. Oh, oh, is he referring to the to the to spaceship? Yeah. Oh, job. Okay, so. I mean, wasn't that in the late nineties? So is this stream. Um, it, it is actually. Honestly, job. At this point. Uh, Reaper. Um, house husband. No, Holly says she thinks it's just those four things. She seems like she might be a resident expert on this. House husband and um, what else could you be? <laughs> it's a uterus, not a clown car. Thank you, Calisandra. Perfect. Stream, er, um, we'll add sewage inspector. Are okay. These, are these jobs? Yeah. Okay. What did you actually put down? Because I didn't hear any of them. Uh, Reaper, house husband, streamer, or sewage inspector. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So then what we do is I'm going to have you tell me when to stop. Okay? Uh, okay. Stop. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Th oh, wait. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four. You don't get to marry Emily Blunt. One, two, That's three, four. You don't get the Yaris. One, two, three, four. You're not a house husband. Sorry about that. Two, three, four. You got a tree house. One, two, three. Oh man, you don't get to work at Reaper. You're a sewage inspector. One, two, I'll three. I'll have everyone know Dave just patted me on the back when you said that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you ended up with McKaylee in a treehouse with four children and you're a sewage inspector. You know what? This... Oh, and you're driving a DeLorean. Oh, 
God, a DeLorean. Great. Wow, guys. I have to pay respects, everyone. Um, except for the McKaylee part. Yeah, I like that. I absolutely. Like that part. And I like the treehouse part. It's MASH. Have you ever played MASH? It sounds to me like you and John would play MASH It tomorrow. sounds like <laughs> we need another round. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe yes, tomorrow. tomorrow. This is not the kind of thing I think that John would like to do. But, but that was, that was, actually, I think it'd be funny or great with the community. I think it's, you know, games like yeah. this are great. So. I love it. So right. I'm going to let Justin get on task because I told him that I would and then I wasted his time for an extra four minutes. That's not bad, though. Four minutes? That's not bad. That's, that's not bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and draw the winner here. All right. We're doing one Poke Tool, right? One Poke Tool, correct. One Poke Tool. Thanks for the subs, guys. Yes, thanks for the subs, guys. Uh, Silver Thorn says you're welcome for the treehouse. We appreciate that. Oh, yes. I don't know how to do Discord voice. I barely know how to do Discord. Like, if somebody puts a heart on something, I can do a heart on it, on it if I click on it, but I don't know how to give it a heart all on, on its own. On what? On Discord. On Discord? Oh. Because somebody said that kind of like we were in good hands in the paint department. I think it was Chris Ayer. And I was like, oh, I want to heart that. And I don't know how. So I'm hearting it right now. <laughs> boop, boop. I like Double tap. You really do live in the 90s, don't you? I guess I do. All right. Well, then uh, I, have, I can announce our winner here. You want to give me a drum roll there? I like when, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. With the, with the fingers. They tap really well. Yeah. Oh, fingernails. Yes, fingernails. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Our winner is Dave. Dave. D Dave, you can't win. Sorry. Um, I, mean, I can't win. I can win. <laughs> you can't win, Dave. I can win. The the winner is Malsur04. That is our winner. Awesome, Malsur04. You're gonna be getting a Pokey Tool. Pokey Tool. Let me let me figure out who we're gonna raid here. So. I'm glad Chris there. So we're going to find who we're going to raid. Actually, real quick, do you want to tell them what they do if they win? What you're going to do is you're going to email giveaways at reapermini.com, include your Twitch handle in the subject, and also the body of the email, and, and your full name and shipping address. And a haiku about Ed driving the tractor. And a haiku about Ed driving the tractor. Without the haiku, we can't, we can't confirm that it's you. We have to have that. Pretty much. Giggling Geekette is online, Tazalamp oh, says. Perfect. Perfect. Not this specific pokey tool, because I'm going to shove it back in the terrain. <laughs> I don't know where the cork went. Well, we'll find it. You know what I was saying? Um, that David, head of packaging, was not irritated with, but he was like, why do you always think of all this stuff that's so, so much work? I was like, we should have Reaper erasers. With like the logo, and oh, we should yeah. stick these in them. And Ron liked it, and, yeah. and well, I was there like, "There you go." Yeah, yeah. I actually I like, like that idea. A it's lot. called extra, David. It's called being extra. Anyway, on that note, that's a perfect note to leave. Okay. Uh, spread the Reaper love. Keep being awesome, and tell Giggling Geekette we said hi. And we'll see you at six. We'll see you at six. Don't forget, Reaper Live tonight. Six. In fact, uh, I will reveal uh, what one of our tour, we had a tour come through, and one of them gave me a uh, Raven Black Rose. Yeah, she Raven gave Black me, Rose. She gave me a present. I will reveal what that present is tonight at six. So if you want to see what it is, I promise you do. It's cool. So Awesome. It does not involve STDs. Thank you, Dave. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Dave, Dave Pugh, everyone. Um Anyway, keep being awesome. Say hello for us, and we will see you tonight at 6. Wave goodbye, Sadie. See you tonight. Bye.